Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes E-Class. That generation that you see right here from year 2010 to year 2016, this is known as generation WT12. If you have one of those, if you have a message on the dash that says check brake pad wear, stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that. It could be three different things that cause it that we see here quite often in the garage. And it's sometimes it may not be bad brake pads. We'll explain what can cause it, where it can buy cheap, parts, tools, brakes, anything for Mercedes or other cars at a good price, quick shipping that way, do not waste money and time. Well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Now, if you have a Mercedes E-Class, that generation from year 2010 to year 2016, 17 guys, this is the W212 guys. We're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car. Why things do not work? Why we're making this one? Because uh, we're trying to save you time and money, guys. Let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere. Your car does not start. You need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located, guys. Where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses, fuel pump fuses. All you have to do, come to the channel, watch that video. One, two minutes, you're back on the road, guys. In addition, we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money and time. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make, guys, at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix mechanical, electrical, engine work, guys, body work, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars, guys, in free repair videos. Check it out if you need help with that. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So guys, if you have that message, check brake part where. Okay, we'll demonstrate on that generation Mercedes E-Class right here. This is guys, the generation, that same generation WT12 before the facelift. This is the facelifted version, but practically that's the same generation. What usually causes that check brake pad wear, guys? Okay, let's explain that now. Okay, we have a pair of brake pads right here. Now, the brake pads, guys, on your brake pads, you're going to end up having a sensor. Sometimes you may have two, depending on which uh, model, which car you have. And that sensor, guys, what it does, okay, it's a wire. And that wire, what, what it will do when uh, it will be installed on the brake pad, like that. And when your brake pad wears, okay, it will be right here, it will start contacting the disc roller. And as a result, it will start grinding itself. And when the brake pads are worn, it will uh, break the wires inside and you'll get a message on the dash that it says check brake pad wear. Now, most of the times it will indicate you have two worn brake pads, you need to replace them. At that point, if you activated the sensors, you need to put new sensors too. But often, in some cases, it could be the connector itself, you need to make sure that it's pushed in, that it doesn't have mud, dust, dirt or anything like that because it's always exposed to the elements. It could be just uh, sometimes even on port connector if somebody didn't push it all the way in because it has a big seal inside that needs to be compressed. Or if that wire wasn't installed correctly after the brake pad replacement, it might have been rubbing on the wheel or the tire and as a result it might be a broken wire guys so you need to inspect to see if it's not a broken wire but in either case you need to replace the brake pad wear sensor which is not very expensive we'll put links in the description of the video below where you can get them from so you can get new brakes uh, it's recommended to get new rollers as well if the minimum thickness is not reached you may have yours resurfaced but we always put new rollers with new brake pads and new brake pad wear sensor those are the most common things we see at the garage that will cause brake pad check brake pad wear on Mercedes E-Class. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.